Oh, hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just checking out this fossilized footprint and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How fast were the dinosaurs? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. Today, I am going to show you how fast dinosaurs were, and you can do it right at home. So, the first thing you're going to need is a sand trap. Well, I, well, actually, you know, a sandbox. Yeah, a sandbox would probably be better. Because, well, you know, because with a sandbox, you have a less chance of taking balls to the face. <laughs> okay, the first thing you're going to do is run across your sand, which is the fun part. Well, it's, it's more fun than doing the math, which comes later. Okay, so now that you've ran across your sand, <laughs> you're going to get that tape measure. <laughs> and you're going to measure from one toe to the next toe of either your left or right foot. Let's go. Alright, three meters. Now that we've measured our footprints, it's time to take this information and crunch the numbers. Okay, based on the measurement of my stride and the measurement of my foot, I can tell you that I was running at 26 and a half kilometers per hour. Now that's so wicked cool! How did I know how fast I was running just based on a few measurements of my feet? And what does this have to do with dinosaurs anyway? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Fossil footprints form when animals walk in wet sand or muddy places. If these footprints are undisturbed, they can be preserved for millions of years. This happens when water evaporates from the sand or muddy area and minerals crystallize over time, turning the soft track into hard rock. Since these extinct animals are no longer around, their footprints can be used to measure their speeds. When we plug in the stride measurement into a mathematical formula, we can figure out the velocity of the animal. Once we figure out the velocity of the animal, we can figure out how fast they were moving when they made those tracks. We can do this with the equation distance equals 0.5 times the gravitational constant multiplied by time squared. 0.5 times 9.8 equals 4.9. 3 meters divided by 4.9 equals 0.6. The square root of 0.6 is 0.77. 0 0.77 0 .77 times the gravitational constant equals 7.5 meters per second. 7.5 meters per second times 60 equals meters per minute times 60 equals 27 kilometers an hour. It's equations like this we have found that sauropods like Brachiosaur moved at about 15 kilometers an hour, Stegosaurus moved at about 7 kilometers an hour, Iguanodons moved at about 24 kilometers an hour, Allosaurus moved at about 30 kilometers an hour, and T-Rex moved at about 35 kilometers an hour. So now you know more about fossilized prints. You know, measuring your speed using nothing more than your tracks is why science is so cool.